you go then Mike, look, it's quite a complex process to work with. So this video might give you some idea. The, the scale I've done is not to, to scale and you will have to do a lot more guide rails, which will make sense as you go through what I'm going to do here. So initially I've just imported canvas for Mark II. Um, and then I've drawn the sketch and extruded the profile. So you've got the side on profile of the, the coach itself. Turn that canvas back off. Um, sketch 2 doesn't actually do anything. Sketch 3, if I turn that on so you can see it, what I've done here is I've drawn the end profile, so the bit that the gangway would sit on, and then the curve for the roof on the end at the top. When you do this, you need to make sure that this curve is tangent to this line and also tangent to the line of the roof as well, otherwise it will throw up a wobbly. The next profile I've drawn turn on, is this curved profile here. So it's a straight line that comes along the gangway. Again, the gangway will sit on this, and then the curve on the end is tangent to this line here. Okay, so those two profiles are tangent. The next thing I did was create an offset profile. I'll show you that. That profile, a plane, is sitting up the top here. Now you'll have to do multiple planes all the way up here so that the curves all match. And the more planes you get, the more accurate you'll get. Um, it, obviously, it depends on how perfect you want it to be. And then on each of those planes, you'll then draw a sketch with the guide rail on for the exact curve you want at that point. Obviously, it's got to be constrained into the bodywork on the end here, and these curves here need to be tangent as well. And then all you do is you just use the loft tool. So if I edit that feature and show you. So profile one is the side on profile here. Profile two is the end of the coach profile. So that would be, cancel that. That would be this flat profile here. Okay. And you're essentially lofting from this sub profile to this profile. And then you'll add guide rails in here. Each guide rail will be each of the ones you've done on the planes. And you just work your way up as the guide rails go. You're probably only going to need to have them along the side. Maybe, I don't know, it depends on how many you, you, you'll need. And then you'll get that smooth curve going around. And obviously you can tweak the curves here to get the profile to match what you require. Um, I'm not quite sure if there is a kink in the roof here. It doesn't quite... Something's there, but I can't see what it is. I don't know if there's a little kink in here, but that's probably to do with the, um, the amount of guide rails I've got. But essentially, that's how you're going to do it. You're going to create these guide rails to create that curved edge on, on the side there. Um, so hopefully that's given you an idea. If you need any help, then give us a shout. But hopefully that'll get you to where you need to be to produce what you're after.